Gorham will be to the left, and Sewell will play fake. Five-step drop again, stays in the pocket, time throws. It's going to be picked off, intended for Gorham, and intercepted. 30 to the 35-40 in the return. Tony Cherovino, a 45-yard attempt, snap back, ball down, and kick is up and good. Had plenty of leg, and Cherovino gives UConn the 3-0 lead. And this one's a lot higher than the first kick. And Andrew Pierman will go back to the goal line. He's going to bring it to the five, looking to the far side, 10, 15 yard line. And he is going to be dropped the, drop the ball. I think UConn's got the recovery at the 12 yard line. They give it to the second man through, Lou Allen. He got hit right at the line of scrimmage. And I'm not so sure the mark is going to be about the four yard line. I don't think he got it. The Cavs looking to get up there and try to block it. And that one, no chance. It's good. Those two possessions down there that. Uh... Could have been 14 nothing, and it was 6 nothing, and um, so those obviously were some big factors. And Lorenzen, the play fake, wants to throw. Virginia comes after him in a sack, and sent him coming from the outside. Will operate out of the shotgun again, and it'll be Sewell to pull back after the play fake. Throws far side. Gorham going for the catch and dives, makes the grab on the far side. Second down three, 17-yard line in the red zone. Sewell sets up middle screen. The catch, 15, 10, 5. Payne tries to dive, and he's knocked off his feet and is down at the one-yard line. Phillips will be in motion. Payne is the tailback, and it'll be Payne banging in left side. Touchdown. We just got character. I mean, uh, you know, uh, you can be a great team, and you can just bury people every week, but that, that's not really our style. Jamil, third and seven. For the Cavs, the play fake, and Sewell now under pressure. Steps up out of the pocket. Jamil will run. He can pick up the first down. 40, 45, 50. Jamil breaks the tackle to the 45-yard line. Vic Hall may want to throw here. Vic Hall looking downfield. Puts it up for Gorham. Gorham is wide open. The catch, 15, 10, to the 8-yard line. It's a perfect call at the time. Um, called at the right time, and then Vic had to step up and make the play. And uh, He was typically Vic Hall on that. Coach Mike Brewer was telling me the whole week, uh, Sell to run, you know, act like you're running. And that's what I tried to do, and it opened up for it. Phillips and Stoop are in, two tight ends. The play fake this time. Sewell looking to throw. Throw back the other way. The catch, Phillips, touchdown. That was a great play call by Coach Mike. And, uh, you know, that was a perfect call for that situation. And, you know, I got, I got to give it up to the offensive line on that one because, uh, you know, they had, to, they had to sell it. They had to sell it and hold that for a long time for me to get around. Big country was just wide open. I could have just walked the ball and handed it to him and so he could get in the end zone. He, is this a great athlete able to get in the end zone? He finds the end zone no matter what. Again, another part of this group is we had to do a few things at halftime to deal with some issues, and this group is able to handle those things and come out and play them as if as if we practiced them. Uh, Jamal Jackson in particular was, was put in a different role than what we had practiced on, on the nickel and the dime stuff all week and really stepped up and made a couple of plays. Cavs might be bringing a safety in the package. They hand it to Dixon. Dixon bounces out, can't find anywhere to run. And it'll be Stupar in motion. Sewell to throw, stays in the pocket, throws and right to a Yukon Husky, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, far side. So the play fake, Lorenzen to throw, looks, end zone, man, and it's going to be caught on the far side, touchdown. off Dixon. Dixon broken into the secondary 15, 20, 25 yard line and out to the 30. Too tight running formation. Coming to the near side. Fresh running back and that's Lou Allen. Allen's not going to get anything and he is stuffed. Good. Snap back. Ball down. The kick is up and it is good. So UConn will take the lead. They drove down the field. Credit them. And got three. But our offense did a great job. That's what we are. We're just a team. We, we pick up for each other. Sewell rolls the pocket. Sewell looking to throw. Downfield. Fires. And it's going to be, I think, uh, Stupar went to his knees and made that grab. Sewell out of the shotgun. Sewell dropping back in the pocket again. Throws downfield. Man wide open. It's going to be caught by Gorham at the 40 to the 36-yard line of UConn. Snap back. Ball down. A kick is up, and it is good. Coming down the home stretch there, we made a few plays. The throw from Jamil to Chris Gorham obviously was a big play. It means a whole lot to know that you can look around, be down, have a many points, and however much time is left, and still go down and, and, and score points, and your defense won't crack. The snap is low. Drop the ball. The ball's still on the ground. The Cavs go after it. They got it. As the big play for the team, I, it had to go off to the crowd. They called a lot of disruption out there toward the end. In my two years here playing, I never heard the crowd get that loud. We're a team, and uh, we win team team ball games, and we win gritty ball games. 